before the video starts, today's shout out winner goes to Sky Diamond Team. If you guys want a chance to win a shout out in the next video, drop a like and a comment down below, subscribe with notifications on, and I will pick somebody randomly that will be shouted out in my next video. I hope you guys enjoy. Yo, what's going on guys, Satsuki here, and damn, I have an insane video. But first of all, as you guys already know, last video I told you guys to give me some food recommendations, and holy, so many of you guys suggested such good food. However, there were quite a few people that wanted to eat Mexican. And you know, why not? So remember, as you are watching this video, go and grab some Mexican food to eat. Maybe grab some tacos al pastor, tostadas, enchiladas, maybe some guacamole, um, what else is there? Pozole. And if you're really feeling it, maybe even grab some tequila. And also, comment down below right now and tell me what you are eating as you are watching this video. But now, as you guys sit back, enjoy your food, it is obviously time for me to spill the tea and beans. Our first story isn't anything too serious, but I really want to share this with you guys. Cause you know, it really paints the picture of the current state of the Fortnite community. Now this one is coming from Inverse Shadows. I'm sure some of you guys remember him, I talked about him last video, and holy, what you're about to see is gonna scar you for life. So viewer discretion is advised. But anyways, today, Inverse Shadows uploaded this video entitled, I fingered my crush on the Fortnite battle bus. We fell in love. I'm going to read it again so you guys really understand this. I fingered my crush on the Fortnite battle bus. We fell in love. insane stuff man and this video title alone did cause some controversy on twitter lg plu posted the screenshot and this tweet blew up flood said on twitter imagine seeing your clan leader post this sudex who is the editor for nova tweeted out saying thank god i stopped editing for shadows but i'm just saying guys this is the peak of the fortnite scene we are only going downhill from here so enjoy every single moment you know our next story is very cool a a few hours ago, Evade announced 2 out of the 5 Evade Academy RC winners. And drumroll please, Spade and Tweaks have won the RC. I know for a fact, many 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 people wanted to see Tweaks win. They are both great individuals and they both deserve it. So now, from this picture, only 3 out of the 8 have a chance at joining Evade. So drop a comment below and tell me who do you want to see join. We still have Metro Boomer, Knives, Frosty J, Paralyzed, Cook, Key Wayne, Yo Yo C, and AJO remaining. Let me hear your thoughts. Our next story is biblical. And you know, I am beyond sad. This story right here is something I thought would have never happened. As a matter of fact, I am quite depressed because of this unfortunate story. So it's pretty biblical, man. But now, guys, last week a guy named Ani Rush commented on one of my videos saying, Love your video, Suki. I love you too, by the way. If you go to the the ghost gaming website they removed x enzo ryan webs and goal we all know Luis was kicked but can you shed some light into ghost gaming removing their profiles and you know when i read this i dropped all the balls at first i thought he was trolling but then i went over to the ghost gaming website and sure enough x Enzo, Ryan, Webbs, and Goal are not on the roster. Then I was like, WTF, why are they not there? Maybe it's a glitch, maybe they forgot to put them on the roster, but then it doesn't end there. I went to Enzo's Twitter account, and in his bio, it says Fortnite Free Agent, and that basically means that Enzo is solo right now. I then went to Goal's Twitter, and he hasn't tweeted in weeks, so I don't know what's happening with him. He also wasn't on the roster, but don't worry because after that i went to web's twitter and i saw this tweet looking for a new organization to grow with call family and be successful with resume available on request former player for ghost gaming that is the key part business email and bio dms are also open 200 hours streamed monthly very hard work ethic i just want to be a superstar so now it is confirmed webs is no longer in ghost gaming and then ryan said this on on Twitter. Ryan Rex to Ghost Ryan to Not Reezy 
to Ryan Rex. So obviously, Ryan is also no longer in Ghost Gaming, but that ain't even the bad part guys. Because a couple days ago, our boy Ghost X said this on Twitter. For those who don't already know, I split ways with Ghost Gaming on good terms. Thankful for how they treated me for the time I was there, hoping for big things in the future. Can't wait to see what's next. I love you all. And you know, when I read that, my heart dropped. Because as all of you know, I literally only talk about Ghost X on my channel. So like you know, it's a very sad day for me. And basically long story short, X, Enzo, Ryan, Webs, and Goal are no longer in Ghost Gaming. You heard it here first. And now the question lies, did they all get kicked or did they leave on their own? And I'ma be honest, I am 90% sure that they all got kicked. Because if you guys don't know, all 5 of these guys were contracted with Ghost Gaming. And for those who don't know how a contract works, when you sign a contract with an organization for let's say 2 years, you can't just leave whenever you want. We all know what happened with the Tifu situation when he was leaving FaZe while he was still signed to FaZe and you know, FaZe Clan is now suing Tifu. But anyways that's old news, it is so hard to get out of it and I am sure Ghost Gaming wouldn't just let 5 members leave the organization in a snap of a finger, especially if they are contracted. So that is why I believe X, Enzo, Ryan, Web and goal got dropped from ghost gaming and you know what's sad man i am gonna miss saying ghost x in my videos i also saw this on twitter a few weeks ago x studio saying i want my twitter back then a guy named sneaky added ghost gaming then somebody named pods replied to sneaky by saying he barely even represents ghost lol i doubt they'll do anything to help him here he probably only has it in his name right now because he wants his old twitter back and pods is basically saying that x never really represented ghost anyways and after his twitter got suspended he started repping ghost in the hopes of they could help him get his twitter back but i don't know if that's true or not so take that as a grain of salt and also there were so many people saying that x has joined phase it was insane so many people were saying phase x like honestly imagine phase x now that would be biblical so you know drop a comment below and let me know what team you think x has or might join in the future and also so, I hope Enzo, Ryan, Webs, Goal, and X the best of luck moving forward. Before we move on, I wanna see who made it this far into the video. So if you're hearing this right now, comment down below right now and try to guess what Fortnite season I am thinking of. I just wanna see who's the real one and who actually watches my videos you know. And I just wanna give another shout out to a few more people. So shout out to Axery, QT Loki, SG Sauce, Ever Dark Sea, Resented, Jazu Season, K, Creo and mix gaming fevers for watching my videos and for being a part of the juicy gang but now back to the thingy majiggies our next story is pretty crazy guys and man another person has called out faceway for stealing because as most of you know last week 77 Upsilon called them out and two days ago a guy named exu tweeted out saying honestly faceway is the king of content stealing he steals everyone's meme tweets and rips off so many builds moves from mostly parallel members, giving no credit when he is in such a good position to do so. Used to have respect for him but, and this tweet got over 500 likes, so many people were agreeing, and Exu basically said, Faceway steals memes for likes and retweets, and he also steals building moves from parallel members. As a matter of fact, Eve Tweaks also agrees. He replied to Exu by saying, Faceway's entire career is built off of retakes, beats, and Connor made. Not so much stealing content, but parallel. See what I did there? Then Exu replies to tweaks by saying, not a huge deal, but he's faced a backlash for stealing memes, and text posts that have already been done well on Twitter, and posting them as his own, rather than retweeting and stuff. Not a huge deal, but a good indicator of his personality. So damn man. And of course, since allegedly, Faceway is stealing from Parallel members, the leader of Parallel, Diana, even retweeted the tweet. Juicy stuff right? And like I said before, it's not the end of the world that Faceway is stealing a meme. However, if he's stealing build moves and not giving credit to the person who found it, such as in this case, Beats and Connor, that is something to talk about, you know. But let me know what you think of this whole situation. Hashtag Faceway Stop Stealing. Everybody say it. Our last story is huge. This one is coming from Tifu and Cloaksy. And holy, this one is gonna go down in the books. Basically, Tifu is no longer dueling with Cloaksy. In summary, Tifu turned down 140 grand so he 
can practice with Cloaksy, but without him knowing, Cloaksy went behind Tifu's back and took the offer. Dexter to posted an article and it goes on to say, Tifu explains why he no longer Fs with Cloaksy after losing out on 140 grand. When asked about it during a stream, Tifu said his decision stemmed from Cloaksy and 72 hours, apparently costing him a lot of money with their decision to do promotional streams for Madden 20. Tifu revealed that he declined to do a stream when EA Sports approached him, turning down 140 grand so that they could play in the trios tournament, but then found out later that the other two players had accepted their own deals without letting him know. And this is what Tifu said on his stream about this whole situation. You know what I'm saying? So like... They do a sponsor stream for Madden, and they're getting paid or whatever, and it's on this weekend. Madden offered me over $140,000 to play their game, and I declined because I thought that we were going to play the tournament this weekend, and they took the offer without telling me last second, so now I'm out hundred over $140,000 because I thought we were going to practice, and now I'm here. Like, so... If they want to pay me the money that I lost, then I'm down. But other than that, I don't really f*** with them. So a really snake move by Cloaksy, Tifu was all left alone when he could have been getting that bread. Like 140 grand. Like think about it guys. 140 grand for one stream. That is so much money. The average North American makes about 50 to 60 grand a year and poor Tifu was about to make 3 times that in one stream. Really unfortunate for Tifu and now he no longer Fs with Cloaksy and they are no longer a duo. And you can't blame Tifu. That was the snake move of the century. Drop a comment below. Below, and let me hear your opinion. Do you think Tifu and Cloaksy will duo again in the future or is this the end for good? But that's all the news for today guys. If you guys happen to enjoy the video drop a like and a comment and if you want to be kept updated with everything that happens make sure to subscribe with notifications on. Okay peace.